right, here we are Monday morning. Got the etch primer on it. Looking pretty nice. About uh, 11.30 here. I think I might just go and take a bite of lunch here before I put the 2K on. But put this etch prime on. You don't have to cover solid. I had a little bit left and I hit these back quarters and rear tail panel again, second time. You don't have to hit the bare steel with him, with this primer. It's pretty nice. The fender's done. And on the header panel, no reason to spray it over the top where the filler was. And valves, lower fender extensions. I probably had bare steel. All right, so there you have it, guys. I think I'll go get a bite of lunch. Come back after lunch, and we'll put uh, two coats of 2K on this. You can see we got the door open here today. It's pretty nice out. So already about 65 degrees here today. Finally in Ohio. All right, guys. Bring you back when we uh, get some 2K on. Turn off the old monster fan there. All right, everything's in prime. K prime over top of the etch primer. Two coats on everything. The hinges. Doors. I can start to see that line I was talking about getting in one color. You can see how well that comes out. creating a seam line back. Truck lid in prime. And of course the car. Changes the look of everything, getting it all in one color like this. That's very nice. Everything's straight. So it should block really good. Nice, look down the quarter, should block out really nice. Of course, these are always fun to reach and get. So we painted uh, inside the A post on this one too. There was a little scale on those, took care of that. Some of these places on these cars never had any paint on them from the factory. So we got them apart. I always try to catch all those areas, clean them up. If they got some scale on them, get some paint on it. So that's what we did on this one. So all right, guys, there you have it. Everything in prime. So it's about uh, two thirty here now. So, all right, there we have it, guys. Bring you back as we start blocking.